In this video, I'm going to show you all about the drop down and the different new options that we have in the drop down, like coloring of the drop down items, the different ways of creating a drop down, and so on. So let's get started. There are two ways on how we can create a drop down. You go to insert, then right here, you have a drop down. And you can select, so I want the drop down in B7. So this is B7 right here. Select the criteria. There are two options here. I'll show you both. Let me first show you the drop down. So here you, you add the items that you want in the drop down. You can say apples, oranges. If you want to add another item, you click there, the bananas, and so on. I hope you get the idea. And if you want to remove the item, is right here, you remove that item. When you have done that, you can press done. And when you go, you can see the items in your drop down here. So that's one way. The second way to do, to arrive at the same thing is going through data, then data validation. So under, I want to apply a rule. You say add a rule and this one brings, so our D7, and then you can add your options and say done. So when you do that, you can see you get the same result. Now I'm gonna show you the other option. You can, of creating a drop down. So you highlight the cell where you want your drop down to be. Go to insert, then drop down. We saw how to select from a drop down. Now we want to select from a range. So when you click there, it opens this cell here. Click on it, select data range. The data range can be on the same sheet or on different sheets. I'm going to show you for different sheets. You click there, go to the different sheets. You pick your items and say, okay. So when I go back, you'll observe that my drop down has been created and it is pulling items from a different bit. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is the advanced features of the drop down, which are quite new. And if that dialog is locked, you can open it by clicking on the, on the drop down and clicking on edit. So, one of the new features is we can color the items in the drop down. For example, I can say oranges. I give it that color. Uh, or oranges, green. Bananas are yellow. And tomatoes may be blue. So when I do that, you'll see that the items in the drop, drop, drop down are now colored and they change based on what is selected. This is new cool feature in Google Sheets of the dropdown. Now let's go and see more advanced features. If this one is locked, remember you click on the dropdown, click on the pencil icon, it will take you back to where we were. And the next, let's see the advanced options. You, we have one here which is says, if the data is invalid, what happens? Show a warning. You know, uh, let's see how this one works. So invalid will be if I enter something which is not on the list, it will show a warning like so. Then if I remove it, the warning definitely goes away. 
If I keep here, then I go and see the other option that we have. Advanced options, reject input. If you don't want the input to be allowed and be rejected, you use reject input, they're done. So now if I come here and I add some letters, you'll get this message saying there was a there was a problem, the data you entered in cell B10 violates the data validation rules set on this cell. So to not accept the item. The first option that I showed you accepts the item but gives you a warning. The second option rejects the input. So again, let's see more advanced features of the dropdown. So if I go to advanced features, I can change the way my dropdown looks like. Currently the default is a chip and this is how the chip looks like. However, if I change it to arrow, you can see right there how the arrow looks like. And the color comes on when you select an item in the Dropbox. Want plain text? You can click there. There will be no arrows or icons. It will be plain text. And to open in this, you just double click on the item on the cell and it will open the drop down and you select the item that you want. And lastly, to remove the drop down, you go to remove rule and your drop down will be gone. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet. Like the video if you have found this helpful. Give me your comments, hit the notification button to be reminded of more videos like this one, such that you don't miss any. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.